What's good, everybody? I hope everybody's having an amazing day and an amazing week. Today, we are flying the ME262. This is one of my favorite planes that was on the German side in World War II. I mean, it's like one of the first jet planes, and it's just an amazing machine. I love to use this plane in this game because the sheer speed and power that it has. There's one problem with this plane. It runs out of gas so fast if you're not playing arcade. You like, you can get up and do your strike, but you're gonna have to get back home real soon. And it, and it kind of sucks because you don't really have a lot of flying time. So most times when I use this plane, I play in arcade mode because, you know, your gas doesn't run out in arcade mode. So or your fuel for the aviation people. But I love this game plane. About to take a look on the inside. And we're going to take it for a flight and see what we can find around town. Maybe we can shoot something with these 30 mils. The power of the, the, the power impact that this gun has on planes, it just destroy, destroys them. So let's check it out, and I'll see you in a second. Well, okay, we are in the cockpit of the ME262. I'm currently just looking around and this is the A1 variant for those other people who are interested. So it it's just a basic variant. I don't have the rockets or anything yet. I mean those rockets cost like twenty five thousand credits, so it's gonna take a little second to earn. I'm still trying to get other planes and things. But that I love about this game is that it's not pay to play on Oculus Quest. On the phone, you can buy your planes and stuff, just so you know. But on Oculus Quest you have to earn it. So we're just going to go for our little taxi here and get up in the air and see if we can find something. I'm trying to rush because, as I said before, this plane runs out of gas or fuel so freaking fast. As you, if you're not sure if you can see in the left-hand corner up there at the moment because I'm looking all around. Oh, because the AA was shooting at another plane and I was trying to figure out who the heck are they shooting at. Sometimes the computer is crazy. But you might not be able to see them because they're so high, so that could also be why. But as you see, my fuel is already down, so I was like, let me get up as soon as possible and try to get something going. Getting our rolling start here. And this plane flies so smooth and it flies like a breeze. It's just the fuel, man. You run out of fuel so fast. This plane is just such a dream to fly. It's so smooth and the sound is just, ah, I love it, especially with the Oculus Quest. And I don't even have headphones yet. Imagine how it's going to sound when I get headphones. Like, amazing. I, I've been slacking on the headphones. I'll get them one day. But this plane is just a dream, like I said, just the fuel. And by the time you get up the height and get a couple of runs in, it's time to come home. And if you encounter a B-17, which is kind of OP in this game, i got to be honest, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a little tough. But I love the B-17, that's my number one plane, so I'm not going to talk bad about it. So right now I'm just getting up the altitude the best I can. If um, I'm more of an energy fighter, I love using energy to my advantage. I do it in my daily life when I ride my bike or ride my scooter, anything I do or drive, I'm always using energy. So as you see I'm keeping the nose fairly as close to level as possible and I'm watching my two gauges right there in front on the, the right hand side to let me know how how my steep angle is and if I'm losing airspeed and things like that. So I'm keeping an eye on him looking for if there's any more enemies over here. I'm not seeing any right now. They're more towards the London area so I'm going to go check it out see what's going on. Again, keeping my nose kind of low, keep my energy up while I gain some altitude.
So I found my target here and I am actually, I do have the altitude advantage. So I'm trying to get a nice little roll in here to gain a little bit more speed because I'm kind of slow. Because I want when I go past him, I want to go past him really fast. So I got 30 mils, so you want to do a quick slide by, hit him real quick and get out of there. Gain some altitude. They hit me a couple times, sadly, so, but I'm still okay. Gonna go in for another pass here. I really don't like being on the back side of any plane like this. It's very dangerous. One of the best passes I love is the front pass. Oh, he got me. Yeah, sadly. So I'll be going down in a few because once you're on fire, there's no way to put out the fire. Something's going to break at some point. So I'm trying to get one more pass in. See if I can take them out. No chance. And down we go. Yeah, this plane doesn't have like the strongest like frame. <laughs> so you're going to get shot a lot. The ME-262 on Gunship Sequel is an amazing jet. I'm going to be the first to tell you, it flies like a dream, it has super speed. The gun, the weapon, the gun is like, it will tear planes apart if you hit it just one time with the 30 mil. But, if it gets hit, the airframe is kind of weak. And the fuel consumption is out of this world, so... I don't feel like playing arcade today, so I'm just trying to keep it on historic, and sadly I keep running out of fuel, so I'm going to switch over to the BF-109 FA version variant, I think, and that's probably my favorite jet or fighter plane to fly for the Germans, because that plane is just amazing. Fuel consumption, durability, durability like firepower, it's just amazing. And I'd actually get into a fight with a Mustang. It's a pretty good fight. So, stand by, check it out. 